Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to how to install Feed the Beast 1.2.5 single player in multi MC. Now, first thing you're going to need to do is head to this page. The link is in the description. Scroll down a little bit, find the downloads, open the spoiler, and you have two things you're going to need to download. The first is the map, the second is the mod. You're also going to need to download the only mod that did not give explicit permission for it to be included in the pack, and that would be Mod Loader itself. The link is also in the description. I'm sure you know where it is. Get that downloaded, and let's get started. Okay, so we've got our multi-MC, our Feed the Beast pack, and our Feed the Beast map. Launch multi-MC, wait for any updates, click yes, yada yada yada, create new instance. Feed the Beast, you can name it whatever you want, obviously. And now you need to run it once in order to download all the prerequisite files. Once that is complete, I recommend you extract the Feed the Beast pack, the Minecraft root folder and the Minecraft jar, it's simply easier. The readme.txt contains these instructions as well if you need a refresher. Once that's done, I right click Feed the Beast, Edit Mods. Everything that goes in the Minecraft jar, simply select it and drag and drop just like that. You may need to edit the order. For instance, Core goes before NEI, Forge goes before everything. And last but certainly not least, the mod loader goes before everything else. Once that is done, right click on your Feed the Beast and select View Folder. Inside your .minecraft folder is where you want to put the contents of the put in your Minecraft root folder. Everything goes in here, just copy and paste, just like so. Also, while you're here, open your Saves folder and the Feed the Beast map goes in here just like that and you're done simply launch your feed the beast and have fun keep in mind that you're going to want to edit any configuration files graphic settings before you get into the game the timer will start the, as soon as you load up the map 